We're at the track, it's the morning. Uh, I slept in the wagon with Hamish, it was glorious. I missed it, it been, we could have done three people. Zach was late, but, but Zach came in here with secret weapons. He's got yep. arc-8s and some KW coilovers and some RSR I came RR from like federal things. Fake wheels to real wheels and real suspension. And I did it till 2 in the morning and didn't get any sleep. So that seems to be the theme with you guys. That's so. cute. So, like I fit in a little. so we're here, we lost Will. He thinks he had a stroke or something. He said he couldn't feel his hands. He left, I don't know. He might be back, hopefully. And uh, yeah, cars, the cars are here. They made it. I think we talked about this last night. We got two hours of sleep. <laughs> but driver's meeting's at 9.40. It's not 9.40 yet. <laughs> 25 minutes. 25 minutes. Sweet. So. Cool. Excited. Take you guys around the campsite here. <laughs> All right, that's the campsite. It's flat black with green wheels. And uh, we hope it's a really fun weekend. I'm really starting to love this facility, and I think it's a super fun place to drive. Actually, um, we just the finished helmet. the driver's meeting. We didn't even say you needed a helmet. Everybody's you prepping up to go. <laughs> yeah, they didn't mention a helmet. Chris, any perlers? Any uh, wisdoms? I dropped my helmet on the ground. fan decided to explode and go into like 100 pieces and took out my radiator with it and probably pieces of that Evo and probably pieces of Nick's car too. Yeah, that's why my car is also overheating. It's Will's fault. Yeah, it's like Will's fault. Will's car's fault. Yeah, so, anyway, so Hamish and I are going to run into town and grab a, uh, a fan because he wants to. He wants to get food. Yeah, anyway, we're going to go into town and grab a, a radiator and a fan Damn. get it back on the road. No big deal, but annoying. Oh yeah, he's, he's just like, he's getting, that's in line six. Okay, well, we got a radiator sitting in the back. Uh, no fans though, so I guess I'm gonna have to see if a BMW can keep itself cool with no fan while it's doing 100. I think it can, hopefully. It's the corners I'm worried about, and then traffic if we hit any on the way back. But, we do have a radiator, so now we're gonna go get some water and stuff and uh, try to fix my turd. So Will, it's looking a little, uh a little spilt here. No, yeah, cool by stonks. The clock, but it'll probably be dry, I think. Yeah, uh, good for yeah, there's a lot of like, cool delicious coolant all over the place. Right. Dries out. You, you can see pretty clearly where the fan right just decided to detonate. Oh, yeah. And then, so right there is the where it took out the radiator. It's not super bad, but it's not good enough to kill my track day. And we don't have a fan tool, so Will's got ye oldie pliers. Oh, we got it. We're good. You got it? Oh, yeah. It, uh, Words of wisdom, Zach? Uh, shit's fucked, mate. Don't buy BMWs? Yeah, don't buy it. <laughs> no, fuck my, him and Chris's mine is awesome. Been killing yeah, it. killing it. No problems. This time, we West only got probably. passed by a Honda Civic and a 70s Datsun. Oh yeah, yeah so, that Civic took off. So how is the advanced placement for you guys? Perfect. Oh, we're great. There's no one on the track. We look like we belong. This is my <laughs> third track day. First this track day. <laughs> and like, dude, You mean... You're a seasoned veteran, of course. Yeah, of course I am. Yeah, well, you see this wristband? It's red. Exactly. It's on my level. But man, E36 M3, <laughs> dude, best chassis. They just make you a hero. Yeah, they do. Enough power, well, enough you, fun. If you have fucking tires. <laughs> yeah, true. And your radiator doesn't break. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Will's, the Not brakes are holding up either. super good, but his tires aren't too hot. No, so. these, these tires are the opposite of hot boy. <laughs> There is cold boy. Shit, let's boy. get cold boy. <laughs> cold boy. Tires. We've got some good uh, storming coming in too. Oh. So, just like Drift Colorado. Just like Drift Colorado. It rained for a hot minute at Drift Colorado. Afternoon pours. Yeah. But hey, I, I got uh, I got wipers this time. Nice. <laughs> you didn't have wipers. I didn't have wipers on the turbo car. There you go. And wheels on the fix. Everything's looking quite stonky, boys. Yeah. Everything's good. Stonks. 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 Stonks are on their way up. Stonks are stonks. Up. So where does this stonk stuff come from? You sure? don't know. You're not in the stonk market. <laughs> yeah, yeah not stonks. That's the only answer. You're not a day trader in the stonk wanna, market. You guys, yeah. comment below. I feel left out. You're not a stonk trader, man. Thunder! I got 
not the song. You guys aren't gonna get to listen to it, but it's right there. It's not focusing. Focus. I think you're too close. Electric only. Did it take out the radiator? I don't know. We're gonna test that. Okay. I don't, I don't want to remove my. Fan. But how was your run? How did that feel? Dude, I didn't get past. I was killing it. Well, I got past after. I, oh, I don't even think I got past after I wrecked. I don't know. You were right behind me, and then you were gone. I do know that Zach pulled ahead. Yeah. From Chris. The only E36 that hasn't blown up yet. Yeah. Knock on something. Mine not until I was in the red. Few times. Okay. <laughs> but it's gone right back out every time. Out. And so, it was, it's solid for like, it's like we four to five game. laps. I'm and her, then I'm like, just happy to bring it in. But it's five. really fun. It's awesome. And then we have, who you knows what to buy. What's up? We're trying to test it. It took out the radio. This hose is kind of shredded too. It's like all brand new. Yeah. Like once we start it. So while Chris is dealing with this, Will, didn't you get uh, taken off the track for a little bit? Oh yeah, they didn't like my uh, intentional drifts. Which was definitely not intentional. Stop having fun, dude. I'm sorry. No, no I really wasn't trying to do it. I was trying to grip as hard as I could. I just was entering turn three. Was it three? That's three, right? I think it's turn three. Anyway, I was entering turn three at what, have sh what should have been an acceptable speed. But with my tires, it was definitely not an acceptable speed. And they were not happy about it. It was fun, though. I mean, I was sideways the whole time. But apparently, you're not supposed to do that. So. My crank motion sensor got nailed, too. Oh, no. It still runs though. Okay, well then you're good. It's like bare metal right there. So, do we have another session today? Do we have what? Another session today? I'm not sure. Do we? Yeah, so we've got one more. I'll probably do one more. I don't even know how much more I can really feasibly do. I think at this point I'm really more endangering my car more than anything. It's the first day, man. It's this fun, isn't good. But like. At the same, oh, I'm missing a piece of my bumper too. That's great. Oh yeah. The diffuser thing. Yeah. <laughs> she gone. You lost the diffuser. Pardon? Oh. oh no. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, man, that doesn't look right. <laughs> it's not. Your exhaust must be loose. Oh, it's definitely loose. I'm yeah. missing the two back tires. <laughs> So, whatever. But, so we're I day mean, one in here. It's fun. I'm trying to keep up with people, and I can until it comes to a turn. Like, I'm on their ass the whole time, my brakes are way better, and then we go into a turn, and I'm just like, well, see ya. See ya, Nara. <laughs> see ya, buddy. So, yeah, anyway, me and a Subaru were having a really shitty bout, but whatever, just having fun at this point. So the radiator was missing a lot of radiator, um, so I wasted all the rest of our distilled water. But since Will bought the last radiator that AutoZone had in this whole area, um, I called in advance, and uh, they have one. So it's about 20 minutes away. We're going to go grab that and see if we can get it fixed for the last session. But one exciting part is I get to drive the wagon now. I love this thing. Ooh, updates on the wagon. This thing has never shifted very well. It's always been really hard to get it into gear. You need to like pump the clutch sometimes. But we put a new slave in it before our grid life and she drives miraculously better. I've been driving her for 
I think two days ish now, two or three days, and it is so much fun. The steering wheel is like not super straight. Dude, it drives like mint. Doesn't drive bad. But yeah, I think we've got all of the uh, radiators in Colorado Springs almost. Yeah. And so we're waiting on Zach to blow his up and also Nick. See, I didn't think I had a mechanical fan. I thought I only had the electric fan because when you turn it on, the electric fan kicks on immediately. But I it had the electric fan. Yeah. And it exploded. Oh, and I kept, dance boy. Yes. And I kept driving it and so hopefully I blow the head gasket. So, fan clutch tools and their availability. Not very available. BMWs use a 32 mil nut as their fan attachment tightening thing. Apparently you can't get that at Advanced Auto Parts, at AutoZone, at Napa. So, we went to Ace Hardware and bought a 32 mil wrench and a strong screwdriver to shove in the, the bolts on the water pump pulley to uh, get this off. And then I'm just gonna return them because we have these tools at the shop. We're 80 miles from the shop. So it's been a great thing, but we have a radiator. We have a new hose. We didn't get a new fan, so we're just gonna run fanless. I'm not worried about it. There's the electric fan. There's the electric fan. We're going to Walmart for distilled water because I poured all of it into the radiator when my radiator had a hole in it. We're gonna get some people some hot and spicies and some McDoubles. We're gonna buy some uh, some beer and some White Claw because there's White Claw crew. White Claw crew. I'm not really in the White Claw crew, but apparently somebody is. It's a millennial thing, it's for Will. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Will would like the White Claw. He would. And the wagon is still awesome. She gets. Alright, I need to remove. Don't forget it from work spread. I got that. Okay. I need to remove my fan clutch. I don't have the right tools. You saw that earlier when I couldn't find the tools, but I got a different tool. That did not work. I'm gonna swing harder. All right, last try. Definitely hit the engine on that one. It's just this cover that wasn't attached. Did it work though? The new update. We got a new radiator in it. Let's see if it's gonna work. I did just drop the radiator cap though into the auxiliary electric fan that I had in the front and that exploded. Whatever this is, all four of these guys like roll up and screw. So now we don't have a yeah now we don't have a fan at all. to go get some sleep, but I don't know why. But, more on that in a second. I did exactly the same thing in the car car, but I uh, kept driving it. Yeah, I'm gonna drive around to get off the track, and the head gasket is blown after I put a new radiator in my car. So, that car now needs a new head gasket, just like my blue car, so I feel like I'm gonna do Estoril Blue Sedan, the car yellow coupe, head gasket, head gasket, at exactly the same time. So that's coming up soon. But we got a surprise for tomorrow. Stay tuned. And then, but yeah, Grid Life Round 1. There's been some music of some EDM variety that hasn't been too bad. We've been drinking beers. And we're sitting in Levi's trailer and stuff because the lighting's good. But there's been a lot of drifting tonight. It's been a lot of fun. I really appreciate you guys watching. And stay tuned for more. Good morning, people.
people, welcome back. It's day two here at Grid Life in the morning. I still don't have a watch. Um, this car is dead. Not gonna make it. Blown head gasket. So, over there on the other side is the wagon, which I'm gonna take. But Will went home last night to sleep because he didn't want to sleep on the ground. But he's bringing back the truck and the trailer. Two cars in it. We got this, guys. We're gonna do track things all day. Well, I'm only doing two sessions and I gotta go home, but all day. Exhaust. That come from? What's up? Go to. Oh, that's supposed that's to go somewhere. That's your turbo. That's probably where your coolant went. No, uh, that looks like a PCB thing. It's not. It's no. It's open though. Right. Oh, I see. Yeah. So is it like knocking? No, it just doesn't have any compression. So what happened? I think maybe a maybe the timing belt snapped on it. Okay, so um, I was getting food and I wasn't able to film, but Chris got the WRX in from the shop. Yeah, that was the, Will that brought was it the down. other car. Will, we, we're in the trailer. <laughs> Will, Will brought this down, and uh, Zach and I went out and we we're ripping it, and uh, and then she wasn't ripping anymore. Yeah. So we're trying to just do a little bit of, of looking at it. No, I know that makes me feel better. I didn't realize this car, so I was like, wait. Will really is a boxer engine, you know? Yeah. Oh, I'm a flashlight. She exploded. There's oil on the ABS sensor. Like, there's literally oil on everything. Yeah. Oh, I bet this is some sort of. I figured it out. This oil line blew off of right there and dumped all the oil out of the engine. And maybe it seized, it like started eating itself. I'm thinking that's probably what happened. I'm thinking so too. Fucking Subarus, man. Literally three laps. You got it for three laps and then it... Yeah, and it was doing fine for those three laps. The brakes and the tires are a little me, yeah. But it was, it was, I don't know, I was having fun. So events have transpired. Last night, I went home, grabbed the truck and trailer, loaded the Subaru into this because I knew that Chris's car was dead. He killed it last night. So I tried to, okay, in. Try to bring a turbo car. The Rudnick did. Apparently it's slightly broken. And it's, it's very broken. It, it, it is like lasering oil onto the ground and it won't idle. So. Maybe that's fuel. It's, it could be fuel. That was one of my thoughts too. Maybe that's why I want so, it. So it, it idles, it goes to like 12.7 and then it just drops to like 22 AFR and then just dies. Every time, no matter if it's at temp or whatever. But anyway, so that didn't work. So I loaded the Subaru, put my car behind the Subaru in the big trailer and then drove the whole rig down. But I mean, my car performed admirably. It didn't overheat, nothing happened. It was fucking awesome. I was having a great time. I ran a, what was it Nick? What did I run? 111? 111-ish. Does anybody just want a broken Subaru for not very much money? Yeah, there you go. I like that idea too. Yeah. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. That's it. One, two, three.